Hey Taurus, it's Nicole. So let's see what messages we have. This is for June 2019. Let's see what messages we have for Taurus. Some of the rising and love. We're going to pick up the highest and the strongest energies. The Taurus. Some of the and Venus. What messages do we have for Taurus? Some of the rising and Venus. This is in love. Messages added to Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2019, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for June 2019. We're going to just add to Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Rising, Venus. Ooh, a whole new world. <laughs> world card underneath. Tower. So is the world come is it coming crashing down maybe two of pentacles here feeling in balance got a lot going on a lot of responsibilities hmm maybe needed to put some things in motion it could be you could be imbalanced us by the speed of something something could be dragging a lot of swords here in the past there may have been It may have been action in the past, but now, kind of at this, the conflict is, is, is speed. So there may be a stop and go type of energy here. And someone's imbalanced about that, wanting that to end. Queen of Pentacles here, you he are here. You are here. A lot of Pentacles. This has to, I, I pulled out a lot of Pentacles. Eight of Swords here. Someone feels restricted. The potential is a stalemate. Virgo energy here, the obstacle. Someone's in contemplation here. You could be needing to have patience here. What the fuck? You know, I think, I don't know if it's because I'm a Taurus that you're fucking with me. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't need to be looking into the Taurus reads because, like, this is my sun sign. Like, I'm so much more than my sun sign. My sunshine. Sun sign. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> But every Taurus read I do, I swear to God, at the outcome, I'll be like, how does all that get to that? And I ain't gonna lie to you, sometimes my life be like, now how the fuck did I get to this? Listen, this is, you go from being in balance to somebody making a decision. So somebody could be juggling, could be being juggled, could be done with a Virgo here. Hmm. Tower here. There's some imbalances within a cooperation. Someone feels like there's too much going on. They may be battling or juggling their thought, their mind and their heart within the situation. Especially if something is taking too long, the love is taking too long. Because listen, this parts, you got one here that is white and one that is red. So the red one I'm taking is emotion because most of the time we, you know, associate the color red to Valentine's Day or to love. So I'm guessing that is what it's for in here or that's what I'm equating it to. Here, someone feels like that someone is taking their time with love and that's an obstacle. The problem is this could also be an influence because from what I'm seeing, this same chemical right here has a mixture of the mind and the heart. So maybe someone has taken is taking their time because they want to be balanced when they present to you when they present you this big opportunity here. This pink and gray heart that is very well balanced with love and foundation. So I think even though you may see it, that may be the imbalance. You may see it as being at a stalemate. You may think there could be even potential to still be at a stalemate. I'm going to be honest with you. Because someone is in contemplation about what to do. About how to move forward. But with judgment being the outcome, either somebody going to wake the fuck up and you're moving into a whole new cycle, especially with world card and tower under here with the king of pentacles, somebody <laughs> shit me. You may be moving into new territory here with the relationship. And this may happen suddenly because I'm really thinking... For some reason, I'm really thinking within two days, there may be some communication. Now, someone could be within their shell. They could go within their shell. 
Because truth be told, someone's dealing with feeling at a lack. Either you feel at a lack in your contemplation here, wanting to block something, but you need to have patience because you feel in balance. Mentally feeling in balance. Two of, two of Pentacles here. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? Why is there imbalance here? Because the cycle's complete. Tower here. Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from a situation. So somebody could have walked away from a situation. You could have walked away from a situation. A relationship ended and now something's moving forward. So divine timing is at work here. But this may be a lot. Like you can be like, whoa, it's too much now. It could have went from not enough to too much and now there needs to be balance. There's a lot going on here. Someone wants to be in alignment with the growth. Four, four to the eighth. Two fours. So being in alignment with plans that have been made, being in alignment with a cycle, was completing the cycle here and walking away. Now there's a lot going on. Someone feels imbalanced here by the transformation. There's been an end to something. Somebody walked away from a relationship. This is a part of the plan. So with the page of pentacles here, why is this page of pentacles here? I think someone walked away and now someone's in contemplation about what to do. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, someone's taking their time. They could be having some type of money issues. They could have had to pay out some money, had a money loss. Nine of Pentacles here. They could be holding on to their independence. That may be why they're taking so long. They could also be worried. They could be guarded and worried. They could be worried about the union. And someone, whoever was taking their time, could have been holding on to a lack situation and that was the conflict. So here, someone's trying to, to, to balance things out. Someone's trying to balance it out. You need to find your grounding. Someone's trying to balance it out. You need to find your grounding though. Past energy here, Knight of Swords. Could have been angry about something. Knight of Swords here. Why is Knight of Swords here? She doesn't look too angry. She really looks free. So you could have been. Hmm. What? So you could have taken action here. Feeling in conflict here, completing the cycle. You could someone could be in conflict about commitment. Maybe in conflict either about being in the third party and not having a commitment. Um, someone else being in the con. So you could have been angry because someone else was in a was in a relationship and you were in a third party. Wanting to balance that out. Wanting to balance out the ending of that. I think you walked away from a third party only to have them return. Um, because the world part is about endings and beginnings. Tower part here, something's realized here. Um, we're going to see, because right now all I got is pentacles. So this is about a foundation. Someone's in contemplation here, having expectation, maybe even having fears. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Maybe needing to have Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo here. Someone could have changed. The Virgo could have changed. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they could have changed. You could be in you could be in contemplation about moving forward here, trying to follow your inner guidance, trying to take action away from conflicts. Especially if, if you were dealing with someone who was dealing with someone else, you wanted to take action. You wanted to move away from that. Ace of Pentacles in your surrounding energy could have the potential of, like I'm telling you, a whole new world. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Let's say some pentacles here. Something that's going to bring someone's coming towards you. Sun card here could be Leo, could be Cancer here. Emotional fulfillment, ace of pentacles. You have an opportunity, the potential to have all of your emotional needs and physical needs fed, um, fed, met. Um, you could have some good news on the way. Someone could be coming towards you because there is a reconciliation here. I'm not sure how you feel about it though. So with Ace of Swords here, and I'm saying that because I literally have nothing but Pentacles and Swords. I got the Three of Wands and I have three 
Major Arcana with the Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles. Everything else is Pentacles and Swords. I don't have a cup on my layout. Not a one. And even clarifying this, there's minimal cups. So that's why I'm saying I'm not sure how you feel about this. Someone could be wanting to come towards you. Um, you could have changed, especially if you've been with this person in the past, you could have changed. Um, you could be a, like a totally different person. And you're just trying to keep balance right now. Someone could be juggling you. You just want balance. You want to be want everything to be balanced out. So you could be walking away from situations where there's multiple people involved. You could be changing, being more nurturing of you, contemplating on how you're going to make your next move, take action. Why is this eight of swords here? But for some reason, you feel stuck. I don't know if you feel stuck in your head, needing to put an end to that. Why is this eight of swords here? Some of you guys could be in a relationship and you feel stuck because of money or you could think someone else is stuck because of money. Or this could be someone's energy bleeding over into your reading. Um, you, Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, having anxiety here or feeling trapped. You want to break free. Take action. I See, and this is the thing. <laughs> and maybe I have to read Taurus a little different because I'm a Taurus. Y'all not just going to sit here and be caged into a situation? So, or is this, are you waiting? Have you been waiting? And now you're deciding that just enough is enough and you're ready to break free? Because magician here, this is this magician, knight of wands. This is Taurus energy. Not anxiety, not feeling trapped by our own thoughts. Now, sometimes we will get within ourselves, but we just need to go rest you know, go grab a bite to eat or something, do something that makes us relax, and then pull those through that thing. So I'm not understanding why you feel trapped. You could be afraid to take action. So some of you guys could be, if you're, if something's changing within a connection, someone could be coming towards you. You could be now afraid to take action because it could be like happening too fast it could be a lot going on so you you may be afraid to take action until you feel grounded enough to make a decision which i can totally understand that two of swords here as the potential though the potential is to block or the potential is to not make a decision why is the two of swords here as potential five of swords because you don't trust somebody that's why so you're not making a decision here because you don't trust somebody you may even choose to be single and independent because you have an unnecessary fear of being betrayed. So for some of you guys, I'm going to be real with you. If you let's see. Because the Virgo, there's a Virgo here that's an obstacle. <laughs> or your contemplation, you may be thinking too much. And that can be an obstacle. So there's potential to be at a stalemate because you're thinking too much about moving toward a new opportunity. Feeling restricted in your mind. That, that, that kind of sounds like a possibility. More of a possibility than allowing your thoughts to keep you. Well, it's kind of the same thing, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I just don't want to say that my Tauruses are stuck. We're not stuck. Fuck that shit. So, a contemplation here. Why is contemplation here? This is an obstacle. Why is contemplation here? Fear. You want to make sure something is balanced. You don't want to be hidden. You want an opportunity to plant some seeds, to build something. You feel like there's some things that are hidden. You feel like someone's in contemplation and they're hiding something from you. Maybe they, you feel like they only want sex. They could be making a decision. They could be following their inner guidance. But there's an unnecessary fear. Some of you guys fear being double-crossed. So someone could be wanting to build something with you and instead have something to do with money, either they want to move into your home and you could feel like this is come to turn into a codependent situation. Um, they could, could want to integrate as a, as a couple and start integrating finances. You could feel like that is imbalanced, unfair. You know, Taurus, is we are just so, this is mine. Um, <laughs> So that may be that may pose an issue. You may need to get out of your head, and um, it says success. 
Success, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Let's just continue to read and see what happens. Why is this Three of Wands here? <laughs> Yeah, so you're you're communicating and you're wanting to move forward, but you're still in suspension here because you want to make sure that your perception of the situation is valid. So you may be investing into this, you may be putting time, putting energy, maybe even putting money into it, but you're still in suspense about the movement forward here. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know if this is a hurry up and wait. It kind of feels like it. Like... Hurry up, let's get this started, but it's going to take a long time for us to get it grounded type of situation. But judgment here, there's a dispute. you got to make a decision. Either you with it or you ain't. So someone may literally be like, I want us to be together, like now, but it's going to take us a, a while to get everything settled into, I guess, a commitment. Judgment here, why is judgment here? Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. Someone has anxiety about making this dang on decision. If someone's deciding to put the burdens down. Someone feels oppressed. Keep going back. It is a it is a, a hurry up and wait. So somebody like really wants like they're like I want to be with you, but let's just take our time. So it's like a hurry up and, and snatch you up and make promises and you're just in the space of like whoa whoa because i'm not sure if this is valid or not there is you don't trust it you don't trust it don't trust it what would be the outcome of the decision are you going to give me the outcome you may decide to cooperate three of pentacles knight of cups two of wands Ooh. I could, you might decide to cooperate um and just that and when i say cooperate it's, it's i think you might say that like i'll cooperate with you um but if you stop goddamn cooperating you're just gonna stop cooperating <laughs> y'all know how much is it. all right so let's see uh what guidance we have here this is interesting um like I said, when I do the, the Taurus recent times, I just be like, what in the fuck is going on? And I guess because I'm a Taurus and the sun sign is like every day. It's like day to day to day to day to day. And this is major things. So this ain't happening all in one day for me. This may be stretched out over six months or something for me, you know? It's crazy. But even this is a monthly read. So even with that, I don't know what the hell's going to happen. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 2019. All right, first card out. What messages do we have for June 2019, Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so you do have to really, okay. So for some of you guys, you got to release an X in order to move forward. For others of you, you're calling in your soulmate. What you feel is real. You need to keep an open mind. You might need to release your X. Healing family issues or someone is releasing their X. Healing family issues. So if you have family issues with an X, you may be releasing them so that you can move forward. If you're dealing with someone that has family issues, they may be releasing their ex so they can move forward. There's a goddamn decision going to be.